What's going on YouTube? Thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed my cheesy little video. Today we are finally, finally gonna go over my AR pistol air precision build. But before I start, make sure you hit that subscribe button on the lower left corner of your screen right there. Hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I drop a new video. Share your boy, spread the love, not COVID. Before I start, I wanna say huge thanks to the Musa store for sending me this dope shirt. This is the Bloodline t-shirt. Go ahead and check them out, got a link down below. They got men's and women's apparel, tactical gear, plate carriers, optics, footwear, you name it, they got it, they got you covered. Make sure to follow them on Instagram. Go ahead and check them out. Also, a huge shout out to Seb from VetWad for sending me and my ER crew some dope swag. This and a couple other things, showing a little appreciation and thanks to the healthcare workers, especially during these times. VetWad is a veteran-owned nonprofit organization focused on bringing together the community in fitness and in mental health, spreading awareness for veteran suicide. If you got a buddy, check on them, check on your battle buddy. You never know when they're at the darkest moment in their lives and they need even just an ear or someone to be there. So go and give them a call. For all you veterans out there, I got the phone number down there and the link down below. I'll flash it right here in the bottom of the screen as well for you guys. Hit me up on Instagram if you just need someone to talk to, someone to listen. But you have a huge support system out there for you. You're not alone. Anyway, on to the review. Hey, look at that. So I created that YouTube video about two years ago with every intent of creating a YouTube review. Fast forward two years later, here we are. This thing hasn't changed much since its inception and actually thinking about it, I don't think I've done anything else to this aside from tighten the gas block down um, because it kind of moved on me when I first built it. So this is an AR pistol. For those of you new to my YouTube channel or new to guns, period, this right here is an AR pistol. It is not a ghost, a ghost This is a ghost gun. gun. <laughs> Just kidding. This is not an SBR. Um, yes, it has a short barrel. This is a seven and a half inch barrel, but it is not a short barrel rifle. This is a pistol as defined by the ATF. And not gonna go into all the details, but what differentiates this from becoming an SBR or a short barreled rifle. Um, short barreled rifle is any rifle with a barrel length of under 16 inches um, with a collapsible stock or with a stock and other features that go along with it being able to be called a rifle. This is a pistol because it is to be fired like a pistol with one hand. It has a barrel length of under 16 inches. It has a pistol brace. That being said, this is a pistol, ladies and gentlemen. Get it, got it, good. This is what most would call a fun gun or a range toy. Because this being chambered in 5.56 with a barrel length of under 10 inches, to call this thing a flamethrower is an understatement. It's kind of got a Napoleon complex going on. It's the smallest, loudest, flashiest, most obnoxious thing on the range. You wouldn't want to be standing next to the person shooting this. Either you shooting it or the person next to you, you will feel that concussion in your chest. Literally every shot. Then shooting at night, good luck. Just blind yourself, why don't you? Take off the blast reduction device, blind everyone else. Basically, everybody will hate you for having this out at the range. Until they shoot it. I mean, there's a reason this thing is called a fun gun. Because it's fun to shoot. It's small, it's light, it's fast to maneuver, fast, easy to manipulate, accurate. Transitioning from target to target is fast and easy because it's so small, because it's got a, such a short barrel. Whether you're out, just, out there just plinking or competing with your friends or maybe even at a competition, bottom line, this thing is fun. With that being said, let's get down to the parts list of this gun and what makes this gun up. Um, from muzzle end, to the brace end, let's go right down. Here we go. All right, so from the muzzle end to the brace end, I'm gonna talk about the individual parts. Starting at the tip, we have the Fur France CRD or the Fur France Concussion Reduction Device. This is a blast mitigating device with a muzzle brake combo. There you go. This is a blast mitigation device um, slash shroud that comes in a combo with a muzzle with a muzzle brake. So 
that is a muzzle brake. This is not a suppressor, this is not suppressor compatible. This is purely its own proprietary uh, system. And it was designed to run for, with um, rifles 10 or 11 inches and under for a CQB. It, it has these ports on the side uh, all around to dissipate the gases and the concussion through these little ports and these little holes and send the blast forward so that you're not so that you're not um, sending concussion or blasting your teammates to your side. Moving back, I have the M4 E1 enhanced handguard with the enhanced uh, upper and lower combo from Aero Precision. This, ha this has a, an, outs an inside diameter of 1.8 inches so that you're able to run a suppressor under the handguard if you so choose. This one is the seven inch version with the M-lock slots. So this is Aero Precision's enhanced um, forged aluminum receivers. This, they're, they're designed to look like billet aluminum, but they are not billet aluminum. They have the features of billet receivers without the hefty price tag. Some features that the Aero Precision Enhanced Receiver Set include are like things like the threaded bolt catch roll pin. So instead of having a roll pin that you have to hammer in, integrated trigger guard, it has an upper tension screw. Upper tension screw, which is down there, which allows you to fine tune the receiver, um, like if you have it coated or whatnot, uh, to make sure that you don't have any wobble between the upper and lower receiver. Um, that's it right there. You adjust it by removing the pistol grip and there's a little screw that comes under the lower receiver. It also has uh, threaded takedown pin detent recesses. So that same thing, just like the bolt catch um, pin, you are not springing your receiver pins into oblivion. And lastly, it also has a in, an integrated flared magwell. So for it being a, a forged receiver set, it's probably one of the prettiest and most functionally appealing receiver sets out there. And it definitely doesn't break the bank. Moving towards the rear, I have the Radian 45 degree selector switch, strike industries, enhanced bolt catch and mag release. I have the ALG combat trigger, nice slick coating so that's a little smoother than your standard mil spec trigger. Moving on back, I have the SB Tactical PDW brace for someone with longer arms like me. Um, this is perfect for how where I would like it to be. Um, this is as short as I would like it to go um, in its collapsed position. It has an integrated QD mount here to run single point. Moving down here, we have the Arasaka M-Lock finger stop. Um, it's nice, feels good in the hand, designed well, smooth, no sharp edges, um, and it locks on tight to the M-Lock slot. Moving on up, I have the Defiance uh, aluminum backup iron sights for the front and the rear. These are aluminum, they also make polymer version. I like these a little better than the Magpuls. You can find these iron sights. Uh, they come standard on the Chris Vectors. I like them a whole lot better um, than getting uh, the standard Magpul embusses, the polymer embusses for sure. For the charging handle, I have the Aero Precision Ambidextrous Charging Handle. It is a little on the wider side, but it actuates perfectly fine. I honestly really have no complaints on it. It doesn't stab me or anything. It doesn't It doesn't get in the way. It hasn't snagged on me. Um, it being as wide as it is and snag happy looking at it as it looks, uh, it hasn't. I haven't had any issues with it, uh, but it, it, it is a little on the wide side. Um, otherwise, it functions well. No big issues with it. Lastly, up top, I have the Leupold LCO. Probably one of my favorite uh, red dots out there. It has a similar field of view as an EOTech. It's fast, it's accurate, it's made in America. What more could you want? And that is it. That sums up the parts list of this pistol build. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I have making it for you guys. I know it was a long time coming for this video to come out for this air pistol. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope this inspires you to build one of your own 
badass little AR pistols. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little subscribe button right down there. Hit that little thumbs up. Get that little ring bell button. Follow me on Instagram, at MrPewLife. Hit up the Musa store to swag yourself up with some dope apparel. And thanks again for, to everyone for helping me get to 10,000 subscribers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Hope you guys are staying healthy and safe. Till next time, peace! <laughs>